countries have started doing something about it. We know that, but this has been, there has been enormous political pressure to show to the markets and to show to others that they were ready to do something about it. So here, what this gives is the evolution of primary deficits as they were uh, forecast in April, these are the triangles, uh, and as we now forecast them, the red bars. So if you look, for example, at a country like Spain, you see that as a result of pressure in the markets, the fact that they have to pay about 200 basis points more, uh, they basically are now projecting uh, a lower deficit by quite a bit for each of 2009, 2010, 2011. Uh, there are countries where the figure doesn't, and is correct, but may give the wrong message. For example, for the US, <coughs> you see that the bars, this is the text to last, the bars are below the triangles, which means that it looks like the US has improved its fiscal position quite a bit. In fact, that doesn't come from fiscal measures, it comes from the revision upwards of potential output, given that we're looking at the cyclically adjusted measure. So, in fact, nothing has happened in terms of fiscal. Things have improved, but not because fiscal measures were taken. And the opposite is true in the UK, where we know that the new government has taken measures that should make things look better, but potential output has been revised down, so that in fact it's cancelled the, uh, the, the, uh, the measures that were taken by the new government. The, the few slides on how it should be done, can it be done? So this is the line that, uh, that we have uh, pushed uh, at the IMF. Uh, <coughs> The point has been that yes, there is a point the, of the essence is a credible medium-term adjustment with a clear market, so some path for the deficit or some uh, debt level. Uh, how long is medium-term? Five years, or well, obviously not the number written in store. The first goal, the intermediate goal, is stabilize debt to GDP, but that would be at very high levels, and I think what we've learned is stabilizing around 100% is not a good idea. So eventually the ultimate goal should be something like 60% or less, and that really has to be there. Now, you know, these are kind of cliche words, credible, and how to make things credible. So we think that there are ways of achieving credibility based on uh, past experience. The first one is there are reforms which you can pass now which change the future fairly steadily. The, the best example of this is an increase in the retirement age with life expectancy. It kicks in slowly but steadily makes an enormous amount of difference 10 years out, which is what you care about in the end. Um, also, fiscal rules, which is a, a freeze of nominal spending, of this big old rule that you cannot add any spending without uh, the tax on the other side, the way the budget decisions are organized, all really make a difference and therefore have to be put in place. So I think you cannot achieve full credibility, you can never do that, but you can go a long way. The big issue in the current context is should you try to achieve in full front loading by basically doing a, a whole lot now? And I think the answer is, unless you're forced to buy markets, and a few countries are, but not many, you should not, basically. What you should do is just have this credible plan and do the first installment of the plan. So if you have a five-year plan, do one-fifth. Ideally, you might even want to do less because you can use monetary policy to compensate for fiscal consolidation, but you might lose credibility. So. Our recommendation is basically just do that and do no more. No more would probably kill the recovery, and so you have to be careful. In terms of what the governments have said they were going to do, uh, we think that the current plans, as of now, as of last week, which is a decrease of about 1% in the deficit uh, next year, is roughly right. There are differences across countries, but in general, it looks as if you go beyond words, but you look at deeds so far, uh, so good.